I've never been. But David spent a month there camping when he was younger. I think it was Vienna when he couldn't get into the opera house without a jacket and tie, which, of course, he didn't have. So he hired them at the cloakroom? Yes. <laughs> the tie was filthy and the jacket much too small. But as far <laughs> as the Viennese were concerned, he was properly dressed. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Vienna. Or was it Salzburg? Good morning, Miss Miller. Paul, how nice to see you. You really don't like Melanie, do you, my dear? Does it show? In an honest sort of way. But today, I think you have reason to be grateful to him. Why? He's just lied considerably, I imagine, on David's behalf. You surely don't mean he's untrustworthy, Neville? I mean that David did embarrass himself and the company in France, but that Paul is determined to wipe it from our memories. Oh, dear. Oh, please don't worry. It's a blessing in disguise for me, at any rate. David will be far better off in Paul's hands than in mine. How did you know he was lying? History repeating itself. The attitude, the anxiety for me to believe him, it all rings bells from days when I would have done the same thing myself. Let's go and have some lunch, shall we? <laughs> 